Hi and welcome to the video, I'm Dame and this is Dame Over and today is the last episode of the mini-series where we have a look at the level 20 weapons for each class and decide whether they're actually worth having the title as the max rank weapon. And we finally have come to the Recon class. If you want to see the other videos, I've linked them in the description, so make sure you check those out if you're interested. And as we all know, the level 20 weapon for the Recon class is the Car 98K. And today's video is made a little bit easier by the fact that the sniper rifles and SLRs do behave in a very similar way. So it's going to be a two shot to the body kill no matter what weapon you're using in the recon class But with the sniper rifles you're guaranteed a one shot headshot kill Whereas with SLRs you're going to need your target to have taken a little bit of damage to make that headshot multiplier count And for you to get a one shot headshot kill with a self-loading rifle So if we have a look at some of the stats for the car 98k and compare it to some of the other sniper rifles I mean it's only really got better damage and a bit better control But as far as I can tell by using each of these different sniper rifles which I have to make a fair comparison it's kind of only as good as your aim is the main difference between them is the fire rate and that is a big deal when it comes to using a sniper rifle that doesn't have a one shot kill so the car 98k has 55 rounds per minute if you choose to have the specialization which increases the fire rate machined bolt but when you compare that to the Lee Enfield number 4 Mark 1 which has a fire rate of 72 rounds a minute and the Gewehr M95 which has 58 rounds a minute as standard. There's even the Krag Jurgensen which has 55 rounds a minute as well and if we have a look at the brand new Ross Rifle Mark 3 that has 64 rounds a minute making the Car 98 one of the slowest firing sniper rifles in the game. Now I'm speaking as a console player and I'm sure it's a little bit different on PC but it just seems to make sense to me that if it's going to be a two shot to the body kill anyway surely it makes sense to use a sniper rifle that has a faster fire rate and especially if you have a look at the Lee Enfield at 72 rounds a minute and when you upgrade the Ross Rifle Mark III and use machined bolt it can fire 75 rounds a minute surely those would be the sensible choices but that's ignoring the fact that SLRs in Battlefield 5 are incredibly powerful. If you are on the higher end of the skill spectrum as far as your aiming goes, you can really make those SLRs count. And I've made a couple of videos very recently about how good SLRs are and how much fun they are to use. And frankly, they are absolutely beastly because you're not limited to staying at long ranges. You don't have to use a scope and try and get those headshots. Tapping someone to the body twice is very, very quick. The time to kill on all of them is very, very fast. And in particular, the RSC and ZH-29 can be very, very powerful if they're in the right hands. And as we all know, the Subschlader 1906 was an absolute beast when it first released and is still a favorite weapon of lots of people that use the recon class. So obviously on PC, things are going to be a little bit different. It's slightly easier to aim and getting those headshots is going to be far more viable when you're using a sniper rifle, which gives far more of an opportunity if you have varying play styles to choose different weapon types in the recon class. But like I said near the beginning of the video, do I think the Car 98K is actually worthy of the level 20 spot? And you know what? I don't think any of the bolt action rifles are worthy of it. I would have much preferred an SLR to be the reward for grinding up to level 20. They are certainly the most powerful weapons in the recon class and some of the most powerful in the game if they're used correctly. But that even being said, having the Car 98K have a slower fire rate than the very first weapon available in the recon class just seems like a bit of a step back. So if I had to choose a sniper rifle to be the level 20 weapon, I'd go with probably the Ross rifle. And if it was going to be an SLR, then the Selbstlader 1906 is the one that takes it for me. But that's just what I think. What do you guys make of the recon class and the level 20 weapon? How do you feel about sniper rifles in Battlefield 5? Do you think the way they work has changed too much compared to that in Battlefield 1? Make sure you let me know what you think down in the comments below. And here is a real quick thank you to my Dame operatives, those of you guys supporting the channel through Patreon. All you guys are absolutely awesome and you're the reason I can make content as often as I do. Hopefully I'll be able to make more with a little bit more support. So there's a link in the description and the pinned comment if you do want to become a Dame operative yourself. So if you had a good time, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button too. Please don't forget the bell button because YouTube will not notify you even if you are subscribed and you don't have the bell button hit. I, I still don't understand it, but anyway, that's how things are. And as always, share this video wherever you like. Till next time, that's Dame over. Peace.